Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I will be showing you guys the top five best base locations that I like to base by. Now this is just my opinion, this is just my spots that I like. You can take it how you like it, but I'm just going to show you guys the things I like. Now Navsgan still gets updated to this day. Every time there's a new alpha or a new update, it seems like the fun pimps sneak in a few new things on Navsgan itself. But yeah, this video is purely on Navsgan. This is only for the PC, not console. Uh, hopefully the console will get updates in the future uh, that are exactly the same as the PC version. But uh, well, let's just get started. Now, the first one on my list has to be this location. Everyone has recommended this, this spot to me and I must admit, after staying here once or twice, I really like this location. I think it's really close to the trader, there's lots of towns nearby and you start off with a nice flat area to build extra stuff on. The nice thing is as well, across the road you have yourself a barn which you can turn into a horde night base if you need to do so. The best part about this barn and the POI over that side is that there are animals inside here that you can harvest early game and trust me, harvesting all these early game helps out so much because you have so much food to mess around with, especially in the main house. Just be wary though because this place is a challenge and it might be quite a mission to go ahead and get through these POIs. Uh, just watch out, these animals are very strong. They may not seem like it, but they are, so be careful with what you do. But once you kill them off, you can claim this POI to be your own and you've got yourself a really nice place to settle down in. It might be a little bit of a surprise when you get to the end. Right, base location number two. Now, this is the original house in Seven Days to Die. In fact, when the game first came out, this was the first house being built. Now, it has seen a lot of changes throughout the years, for sure. It definitely did not look like this, but it is the same original spot that it's been in, and it's, it's just been here forever. So, yeah, I have to include this into this top five base locations. Uh, the nice thing is it's very similar to the one I just showed you. You have a massive farm across the road with a barn which you can use for a horde night. Now there are no animals I believe in this POI specifically so you're not going to get that chunky meat in the beginning but it might be nicer to base here first and then run off to the other POI and get the meat there. That might help out quite a bit. But there is plenty of space to mess around yet. Yeah, it also comes with a garage, so if you need to go ahead and park a vehicle in the future, you've got a spot for that. You can put a garage door in. Uh, you've got an underground basement. There's a lot going on in this POI. There's plenty of space to work with. You've got upstairs, downstairs as well, which is super handy. If something goes wrong, you can go ahead and run upstairs. But yeah, this is a brilliant spot to base. And the nicest thing is you are really close to the closest town, which is the Dyersville, which is plenty of loot to go around here. So yeah, this is a pretty cool spot. So this one has to be by far one of my favorite POIs in Navscan. Why? Because of its location. It is so secluded from a lot of the places, but yet not too far from a trader, from a ma major city. The only problem with this POI is, as you can see, it is in the wasteland biome, and this place is not for sissies. This place is a very challenging biome, and you can die really early on if you are not good at this game. But the POI itself is pretty nice and compact. You got yourself a wall going all the way around. The zombies do not spawn inside because it's not as big. And if you can reinforce most of these things, you're gonna have a pretty good base to start off with some, some spikes down and whatnot. You've also got yourself a nice double garage. If you get vehicles in the future, you can put that there. And then the house itself is just massive and it's got plenty of space to mess around with. You got uh, upstairs and downstairs, which I always recommend if you're gonna base make sure that you have a POI that basically has an upstairs and downstairs so you've got a place to run. Uh, there is gonna come with some maintenance as well. You got to fix the roof and stuff, but that is kind of fun to do. And it's it's just nice. This is a really cool POI. And I have based here once before and I had a pretty good time. I just suffered because of the biome that it's in. Uh, yeah, so the location itself is nice because just down the road here, on the left hand side, if you guys don't know, this town has recently been, let's just say, added. This town never used to be here in the older updates. They've just done this recently, as you can see. There used to be radiation back in Alpha 18. In Alpha 19, there I think they removed the radiation, but then there was no town here. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool town. This is new, and a lot of the stuff here is new uh, buildings and POIs and stuff. So you're gonna have a really good time exploring all these new things. You can see this is new, that's new. There's lots of new things around here. Uh, just watch out. And again, this biome is not for the sissies. 
If you come back to the POI, you take a right going down this way, you have the prison, and then just past the prison, you have yourself the trader, which is super handy, I must admit, because look how close you are to everything. You got your base, you got the prison, you got the trader, and you got the town. You won't, you won't really need to move away from too much of this. Uh, obviously, sometimes the missions will take you to other places, but it, it's just a great place. I really like this place. If I think, if I had to pick my favorite, I think this would be my favorite on this list. So here is another one, which I did not know until I actually did this video. This bunker has been around here for a very long time in Seven Days to Die. Not yet forever, but they have overhauled this bunker completely. And I didn't even know that they did that. I haven't even seen this in random gen. I think this is a Navscan exclusive only. But yeah, I have to include this one because this is one of my favorites, I think, in the whole Navscan as well. I, I really like this one. I've used this one a couple of times myself. It is an underground bunker, which gives it a bit of a disadvantage because if you're having a horde night here, yeah, it's going to go really bad. The zombies are going to dig down and get you. But if you're living in there, it's not too bad. You shouldn't have a problem. But yeah, if you come on down this side, I will have the uh, the coordinates on screen for you guys. So just keep an eye out for that so you can see where they are. It looks like a simple house. Yeah, you can use this for something. Maybe use this for horde night. Uh, but if you go around the back, there is a well. And if you climb down, I'm trying to check this out quickly what this is. Oh, this is, okay, watch out for the dogs. Uh, if you go and climb down the well, this takes you to an underground bunker facility. And I just thought that was freaking awesome. But it's completely changed the way it was before. It's like so much different. And it's just like so much space that you can work with. Even like this, if the zombies do manage to get down there, they have to come up over here and you can fight them. But just look how nice this is. If you give it a nice fresh coat of paint, put some lights in here. It's going to be such a, a cool place to set up camp. Uh, can this open? I think there's a switch nearby that can open that. But if you go through, this just it's just got a little kitchen. You got everything going. Got some shelves you can put your storage on. It's just so cool looking. And I actually really want to maybe do a playthrough just being in the bunker. I think that might be quite a bit of fun. It's not, it's about the same size as it was once be before in the old updates. So nothing new about that. That's... Wow, that's new. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. It's so cool. I've never been here, but it always was a really good spot to base in the past. Wow, there's so many little nooks and crannies around here. Jeez, look at that. There's a little secret thing if you go down there. See, I just really had to add this to my list, guys. Now, this is not a POI. This is a community favorite. Everybody who plays Navsgan has based here at least once or twice, or if you haven't even heard of it, this is a pretty cool spot to set up a castle, a tower base, anything you would imagine. It's just got such a nice view. You like got all these little boat areas around in the area. You got like that docking area. It's just, there's a lot going on here and it's such a nice view and you got a lot of potential here. Yes, the zombies do spawn on this island. I haven't tested it recently, so that it might not. But if you guys don't know, zombies don't actually spawn uh, when you're in the middle of water, especially on Horde Night as well, they just don't, don't spawn. So if you're standing in... I think if you're standing in this in Horde Night, they might spawn because it's really close to the edge. So they might just do that. But there's a chance if you stand, yeah, nothing will happen. Uh, but yeah, this is a really... I don't know, everyone likes the base here. Yeah, I've seen some really cool builds here and I think this is a cool spot. You're not too far from the trader as well. If you fly up just a little bit, you can see the trader is just right there. So it's really not that far to do some missions and go get some training done. Uh, you've also got another little island next to it as well. So you can choose you want a big one, a small one. Yeah, those two are a really cool spot. Again, I will have the coordinates on screen for you guys. So if you want to go check it out, you can. So yeah, guys, those are my top five best base locations. I know this might have been a bit of a short video, but I just wanted to show you guys something that I usually use and I think it might help some new people coming into the game. All those locations are quite good for resources as well. Uh, I would say the wasteland is quite nice for iron and all the other places are good for everything. You don't really have to worry about resources too much in Seven Days to Die. It's very abundant everywhere. The only place where you're gonna find like oil shell is in the desert, but you shouldn't have a problem. I mean, it's you're gonna find gas everywhere. The resources are very abundant in this game, so you don't have to worry too much about resources. It actually made the video a lot harder to try and find locations that actually have good resources because it's just, the resources are everywhere. So you're kind of debating where to put a good base location. 
in a spot that's convenient to the trader or a good POI to base. And that's kind of where I was going for on this video. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button for more. And if you've got any suggestions, and if you want to tell me which favorite location you like to base, and let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Thanks again, guys. Check in the next one.